All right, so we have everything cut out. Um, maybe you've stabilized your cup. Uh, maybe that's going to happen uh, for you when you do construction. I'm going to go ahead and apply some uh, stay tape here. So this is stay tape. It has a little bit of a, a stretch to it, but it's somewhat rigid. So I'm going to apply that to my upper cup as I go here. But um, construction wise, again, read your pattern. You're probably going to get tired of me saying that, but it's going to uh, give you some important um, construction notes and it might tell you the best way to put your pattern together. So um, most of them are pretty much the same, but um, generally you start with your um, putting your cup together. So whether it's a two piece cup, three piece cup, anything higher than that, you're going to start with that. So we're going to go ahead here and um, match up our notches and just make sure, especially with these lower cut pieces on some patterns, they can look very similar, the inner versus the outer. Normally um, it will come to a point. So um, a uh, video I watched in the past um, said that they kind of look like whales. Um, so you've got your two whales and your whales should be kissing. So points together. So that's a good way to remember it. Um, the other thing would just obviously be to have your pattern piece and um, you know refer to that. So if your piece has um, any notches or any markings that you're going to line up, this one has notches, I'm going to start there and then go ahead and work out to my edges. One thing to note with bra making, so we end up with a lot of uh, these kind of corners here that um, may or uh, may not line up exactly. You want to line up the edges of each piece at the seam allowance. So the seam allowance on this pattern and on many patterns is a quarter inch. So I'm going to want to make sure that my edges line up at roughly my quarter inch mark. Um, I'm eyeballing it, but you can get your ruler out and um, make sure that it's exact. And then that way, when you go ahead and stitch, you'll see that I have a little bit of an overlap here. But when I go ahead and stitch, um, that extra piece that's hanging off, because it lines up at my seam allowance, that's going to go away. So I'm gonna pin my cup together. And then, like I said, you might be reading something that tells you, you don't need to use pins, or we don't use pins in the bra making industry, but go ahead and use them, just don't go nuts. And this is a situation where you probably really do need to use pins. Um, I know a lot of us really like our clips, um, myself included, but um, this is kind of a pin uh, sort of thing. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and go over to my sewing machine and I'll be sewing with a straight stitch. So most of my bra making will be done with a straight stitch, but I will get into a zigzag and that three-step zigzag later. So I'm going to go in a, th in a straight stitch here. I'm gonna do that quarter inch seam allowance, read your pattern, make sure that's uh, what your seam allowance is. It might be a little bit different, but most bras are quarter inch. I'm gonna do my quarter inch seam allowance and then from there I'm gonna take it over to my iron and I'm gonna do a little bit of pressing. Okay, so we've gone ahead and sewn our upper cup to our lower cup now, and then I did also go ahead and apply that stay tape um, here just along the top edge, so that's gonna help my cup from um, bagging out. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do here is we're going to press open the seam. So we're gonna be doing a lot of this today. Um, you're going to um, open up your seams and if you've done um, a good job on your seam allowance there, you shouldn't have a lot of uh, space to work with. And then we're gonna go ahead and press the seams. So obviously set your iron to an appropriate setting uh, for the fabric that you're using. So I've got mine on a synthetic setting. So you're gonna go ahead and press around. Um, something that some people recommend um, is to either have a, a tailor's ham or there's something called a boob ham that's literally just a rounded uh, circle, makes e pressing a little bit easier. Uh, I know some people use something that they call a knob, which is just like a uh, wooden um, circle that they iron on. You can definitely use those to make pressing a little bit easier, but uh, frankly, they're not needed. And you know, if you're not looking to um, add more items to your sewing kit, then um, this is a good option for you here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press. And so what I like to do, um, since I don't use either of those tools, is I just kind of lift up um, as I'm pressing here, and it kind of allows me to get into that curve a little bit better. Okay, so and then I'll do that. I'll flip sides and come up my curve now from the other side. And I use, like to use steam here when I do it, but uh, you know, don't have to. 
Oh, it's always, it's totally up to you how you do these things. Um, so, like I said, make sure you use a setting that is appropriate for your iron. And um, you can also uh, test a, a small swatch. So take a small bit of whatever fabric you're doing and just make sure you are not going to melt it. So once I have this pressed, I am going to top stitch. So this is another one of those things that we're going to be doing a lot today. So I'm going to go ahead and top stitch along um, my cup seam line here. And I'm gonna do that on both cups. Okay, while you're at the machine, the other thing that you're going to do is attach your, um, frame and back piece together. So uh, the pattern that I'm using, they recommended in uh, larger sizes that you double up here on this piece. So I cut two pieces of simplex and I just uh, did a basting stitch around them together, making sure I stayed within that quarter inch seam allowance here. Um, power net, you know, there is a right side and a wrong side to it, but uh, some people prefer uh, one side or the other against their skin. Uh, just make sure whatever side you do choose that you stay consistent. Okay, so um, on this bra, it's just a nice little short seam here. Um, so this bra pattern is a little bit different in that it, um, the, the power net does come under the cup here in a lot of other ones that you'll see. So if you're doing that classic bra or uh, a lot of the other ones here, the, the frame actually might start here. So this would all be um, out of your stabilized trico and then the rest of this would be your uh, power net. So I'm gonna do uh, both sides here and I'll stitch those and then we'll meet back here to talk about next steps. I have attached the um, back here to that center um, bridge. What I'm gonna do next is press again and I'm going to press my seam allowances towards the center here and then I'll go ahead and top stitch. For my cups now, so of course we'll trim all of our threads here and this is where those duckbill scissors that I talked about before are going to come in. So once we've done our top stitching, and like I said, we're going to be doing this a lot, um, we're gonna come in here with the duckbill scissors and I'm going to chop off the remaining amount. So the duckbill scissors are nice for this because the duckbill part goes underneath and then it kind of prevents me from cutting through two layers of fabric. However, it does not entirely stop that. So you do need to be careful when you're doing this. So um, if it feels like you're cutting through more than one layer of fabric, you probably are. So be very careful, make sure you're not catching underneath here. And then you're just going to go ahead and go along your whole seam allowance here and trim everything off, okay? So do that for both seam allowances here on both cups and hopefully you've done your seam allowance properly and then you did your top stitching. Um, your top stitching should happen at about an eighth of an inch, so hopefully that's nice and consistent and therefore you are chopping off a consistent amount here. Okay, so that's one side done. So I've gone ahead and just gotten rid of my seam allowance here. I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the other side and I'm going to press and top stitch uh, that frame and then we'll talk about attaching the cups to the frame. I have our cups all top stitched and trimmed up and I have gone ahead and uh, sewn the frame together and also top stitched and trimmed that all together. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and add the cups into the frame. So remember those whales, again, the whales need to be kissing. Um, you'll also normally see too, like there'll probably be a, a, a curve, uh, like a rounded curve here, and then a scooped out curve here, because this is my underarm. Um, so same thing as before, um, when you are uh, lining things up, so you'll wanna make sure that you line up the edges at the seam allowance. And again, if your pattern has any notches, um, you'll want to line those up with the corresponding spots. Okay. And again, up to you how much you pin, but ideally don't pin too much. So this is another great um, example here. I don't know if you can see how well you can see this corner, but there's, um, Quite a bit of overlap there but I'm going to line it up at the seam allowance and then it will give me a nice finish. Okay so you could throw in a few more pins 
here around the curve. Um, but uh, like I said, don't go pin crazy. And hopefully if you've done all your cutting and everything right, uh, this will fit in. You might have to ease it just a little bit, but um, you shouldn't have to do it too much. So once you've done that, I've got another bra here that I've been working on. So this one, similar, uh, this is the uh, Bra Makers Classic bra. So um, this one, like I said, the frame on this one uh, does go all the way and then I've just got the power net on the back. Um, so that's kind of what I was mentioning earlier. So it's the same thing. Uh, this is uh, stitched here and then this one has two lines of top stitching. Again, I've pressed my seam allowance in uh, towards the center. This bra as well does have um, fabric straps, so after you've inserted that cup, um, or before, you could add the straps uh, to the cup before inserting or after, it doesn't really matter. Same thing, so you're going to go ahead and attach those straps. Again, um, so we're going to do that press and then a top stitch. On this, I'm going to press my strap down in towards the cup and then again I'm going to do two rows of top stitching and that's just going to make it a little bit more uh, stable for me because a lot of the uh, load bearing is going to happen there. So once we're here, um, we are starting to look like an actual bra. So the next step is going to be to apply elastic. So we're going to apply elastics in a few different ways. We're going to first start with the bottom band, then we're going to do our top band into our straps. If you're doing a strap pattern, if you're doing one of these patterns that doesn't have a strap here, you'll just be doing um, along here. And then we'll also do that neckline trim if we have that. Okay, so starting to progress along quite nicely here with our bra.